The transition towards sustainable farming and land stewardship needs to be done with our hands and feet in the mud, so to speak. Acre by acre, people will need to put their back into it, building living soils, healthier crops, in more harmony with nature. In short, it will be hard work on projects that can take decades. Who on earth is up for that? Well, we are! <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter. Hoi, Nakita. Marijn. Sara. And, of course... Yes, we are also coming. All right, the plan. We were extremely lucky to buy a gorgeous 12 hectare farmstead in Ireland this year. Five hectares are currently monoculture Sitka spruce plantation, which we will eventually transform into a native woodland harboring the sacred Celtic trees. The grasslands will be converted to an orchard, planting nut and fruit trees, with sheep and chickens grazing among them, building better soils, growing nutritious food, and creating a habitat for wildlife. Our land will be a place of learning and connection. In our forest learning community, we will offer a rich group environment where small human beings can explore and discover the wonders of the natural world. A place where they can follow their curiosity, dive deeply into learning while gathering skills to support thriving life on Earth. We also have spaces to offer workshops and retreats to the greater community, inspired by our relationship with nature, self and others. So all who pass through will have a chance to engage hands-on with land care and stewardship. We're excited to experiment with annual and perennial crops in our gardens, growing heirloom varieties that are then transformed into delicious meals in our farm cafe. But how are we fit to make this success, you might wonder? Well, since we're uncomfortable bragging about ourselves, we've got this voiceover dude instead to do it for us. Okay. Honestly, if any two families can make this work, it's these two. Marijn has spent his childhood between haystacks and studied regenerate... Re what now? <laughs> Again. And studied regenerative agriculture in Sweden. As did Peter, by the way. So they are well educated and experienced. If you look up Peter on LinkedIn nowadays though, he has earned himself a different job title. That of design strategist and facilitator. This basically means he works as an advisor on international regenerative land projects. Nice going, Peter. Running a community school is somewhat of a homecoming for Sarah, who has been in front of a class for seven years now. And cultivating edible perennials, another weird veg, is something Nakita has been itching to do ever since she met Vandana Shiva at her biodiversity farm. You can also leave the cooking and recipe development to her. Trust me, I know, because well, they fed me before going into the booth. So, uh, something like this? Yes, great. I could have some right now. To realize our plans quicker and better, we're looking for donations. Tiny or formidable, always welcome and will be effectively used to create a more sustainable piece of earth. Visit our website and regenerate.